What you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be looking at 10 must have add-ins for Microsoft Office now if you've got Microsoft Office you'll know that you can have add-ins and if you don't know that then this video is going to be right up your alley if you look here at the office store here they do a lot of add-ins that you can add to your Microsoft Office package now whether you're using one of the older versions of Microsoft Office or one of the latest stuff like 2016 or Office 365 or Office uh, 2013 I'm using both 2013-2016 uh, which ones you're using make sure they're all compatible for your office package that you're using okay another thing to remember is make sure you back up all your operating system and make sure everything is updated ie all the security uh, patches are all installed all the service packs are installed and everything is updated windows and office okay all this needs to be updated before you start in case something goes wrong and if you've made backups then uh, you should be good to go so let's start off with uh, the add-ins that we can add on, which are all free. So we're going to have a look at Dropbox first. Now, Dropbox has been around for a long time, and it's an awesome bit of kit. And this is great to add to uh, Office, as you can see here, Dropbox Imports. Now, the other one that you can use is also Google Drive, and I'll show you that in a second. But if you see here, make sure that you read all the information and uh, make sure it's compatible with your version and make sure that you've updated it. As you can see here, this use to use this add-in you will need Internet Explorer 9 uh, with the latest security update so it's telling you here that you need to make sure that this is supported okay you can see the list of supported browsers make sure everything is up to date for you and uh, it works before you start um, chucking these on the system so that's the the first one and you can see it dropped on there you can I'll show you quickly here before I start adding them in I can just click on these uh, images and it shows you what it will look like once it's installed so the next one I want to show you is um, Google Drive. I'll just quickly uh, go to that search here, Google Drive. This is another free one that you can use. So you can use either one or two. You don't need to use both of them, but you can either use Google Drive or uh, Dropbox. Depends on whatever floats your boat there, really. But you can see here um, all the information here. And make sure you read the overview part here as well. Be sure that you enable the pop-ups to... Uh, able to authenticate the application enable access data source so you can see all this stuff just go through all this stuff and make sure otherwise it will not work properly another one I want to show you uh, and you could just click on this here add and what will happen is uh, office 365 sign in and if you're not an office 365 user or not sure click here and you can click there and it will give you the information okay so what I want to do next is show you the next one and the next one is called find time this is another great uh, add-in that you can use find time is just here and find time as you can see here is an add-in for Outlook that helps you uh, come to consensus uh, on making meeting times so you can ba basically uh, it organizes your day and plans out your day so you can basically set all this up and it should be pretty much good to go once you get all this up and running just again just follow the uh, instructions here uh, so you can get email messages and calendar and all that sort of stuff as well in there have a good look at this is a really highly recommended program and it will help you um, it really will help you organize your day and uh, keep to those uh, meeting times the next one I want to point out to you is called FedEx package tracker I'm just gonna put FedEx in there that should be enough there we go so another free one is your FedEx packet tracker so if you do a lot of ordering if you're a PC repair tech or something like that you do a lot of ordering and you're using FedEx and stuff like that this will keep track of all those uh, packages and when they're on time keep you updated and stuff and that's a really useful way of uh, making sure that uh, you, you're ready to uh, receive your package and know when it's uh, due and when it's been delivered and when it's been sent out and stuff like that to the next part so it normally gives you a little now you can look at this online but again if you're already in the program you might as well add this in there and it will help uh, speed up that process so let me have a look at the next one it's called bubbles now this might not be for everyone uh, but I think it's useful if you do create a lot of uh, graphs and stuff like that and it is a really snazzy looking uh, type of um, bubble graph really and this is used in Excel as you can see in Excel online so as you can see here just make sure it's all compatible with your stuff here but I do like this uh, 
this little uh, add-in and they do other ones as well you do people one and stuff like that and there's other bits and pieces so depending on which ones you want to use I do like the bubble graph I do like that type of uh, looking type of thing there so let's move on to the next one that I like to use uh, which is called sticky notes and this is really useful uh, if you want to be reminded and stuff like that now there's an array of sticky notes here you can choose whichever ones that suits you um, there's paid versions and free versions but we're sticking to the the free version here uh, so we're going to click on this one and see what this looks like as you can see here and this allows you to have little sticky notes on the side of your screen here to remind you to do certain things now there's other things you can do uh, as well like little uh, reminders that pop up but this is an, just another little sticky note like uh, you know pick up cat food or something like that uh, whatever it is that you're doing or dog food and it will help you remind that on the way home and stuff like that so that's a really useful little add-in as well uh, for you another one is PayPal uh, now if you do use PayPal a lot and you want to add the add-in then this is a PayPal for Outlook and you can add your PayPal to that as well and it'll also help uh, make make it a lot more smoother uh, rather than you go into the PayPal site and add all add all your details in you can do it straight through here as well if you're using PayPal a lot uh, another version that I wanted to talk about here is called uh, DocuSign so I'm gonna DocuSign let me just quickly uh, DocuSign for Outlook now you've also got a DocuSign for Word here um, let me just quickly show you this doc, DocuSign for Word and what it basically is, as you can see, is save time by uh, by signing and sending your documents for e-signatures without ever leaving your Microsoft Office uh, Word or or whatever it's version you're using. Again, up here, as you can see here, make sure you're using your latest service packs and you've got all your updates installed, otherwise you will have issues there. But basically, it's a real quick and easy way of doing things rather than you having to uh, wait and stuff like that. You can send these documents and e-signed straight away here, as you can see here. And you can take a look at the images if you wish, um, at your own uh, leisure, you can see here. Let me just quickly show you this can't really expand that really it won't let me expand it any bigger but you can see what I mean there so the next one I want to show you quickly is called mini calendar or mini calendar I should say um, I think I spelled that right there we go so there we go oh this is the paid version let me go to the free version here mini calendar light uh, this is another little one that you can set up uh, it's pretty useful and uh, it organizes your day as well uh, you can use this uh, on your system now I do like the, uh, the this is the light version which is the free version but I do like the uh, colored uh, version as well but that's not cheap that's uh, pretty expensive and this is great for adding colors for certain types of things you can do this in Office 365 a uh, pretty good uh, feature but basically uh, I wouldn't have pay this one here if you don't want to if you want to stick to the free one the light version is just as good but it's not it hasn't got all the colors and stuff okay so anyway that's that version there then the last one I want to show you is called imager uh, so I'm just going to quickly uh, show you this so imager image search for word now if you do a lot of um, images and stuff like that rather than having to copy and paste them across this allows you to search for images whilst inside a uh, word itself which can also add you can add these into your documents and stuff like that will make it a lot quicker uh, very useful and there's also maps ones as well which I've not mentioned because obviously we've gone past 10 then but you could have Bing maps and stuff like that that which allow you to add maps in and stuff and it's also things like called Urba which is another sort of um, a great plugin that you can use as well OneNote I can the list is on but we'll stop it right there with those 10 but they're really pretty useful to add in all you do is just click add and then you'll see here once you add you sign in and then you go next 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 and you should be pretty much uh, good to go anyway I'm gonna wrap this one up so I hope this one helps you out guys my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit that like button also hit the subscribe button 
uh, if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos also if you've got any problems with computers or any video requests or you've got any uh, things that you want me to do a review of or any hardware reviews then go over to the forums and message message me over there and I'll do my best uh, to do those videos for you anyway if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page or anything like that you can also go over there and give us a little like up over there it doesn't cost you a penny anyway guys have a great weekend and I shall see you again in the next video thanks again for watching bye for now